Hey everybody, Leah Klett here with the Christian Post, and I'm so honored today to be joined by Kathy Lee Gifford and her daughter Cassidy. They both appear in the upcoming Amazon Prime series, The Baxters. This is a time for you girls to both work together on screen. How was the experience of sharing a set on The Baxters, especially when this show is really dealing about family bonds and in a lot of ways, a mother-daughter relationship? A lot of fun. Um, We've worked together a lot yeah. uh, over the years because, you know, it just was a natural. Cass has wanted to um, be an actress um, all of her life, ever since she, uh, you know, just uh, literally, I can't remember a time yeah. you didn't want to yeah. be. And I, that, I was exactly the same way. So um, I knew she was going to have a, a career in the entertainment world. So I tried to help her prepare her. Uh, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, be gut level honest with her, like they are in the Baxters about certain things that this, this is not going to be easy, but we don't have any scenes together in the Baxters, but who knows down the road, I Lillian's guess. fabulous. Bring Lillian back. <laughs> Why was it important for you both to be attached to a series that deals honestly with some really difficult topics like addiction, loss, while also highlighting how faith can redeem even the most broken parts of our stories? And Cassidy, I'll start with you on this one. I think the point. You just said that's the point, yeah, right? Because it's so needed. And like you said, we're all so broken, um, no matter who we are. And I really think people are desperate to hear these stories because when you resonate with something, it's because you see yourself in it. Um, right. Even if you might not deal with that specific thing, um, like whether it be addiction or whatever it is, there is brokenness in each and every one of us. And I think so much is highlighted on television today and in movies. It's just all negative. Everything is so almost like oppressively negative and people do want to know that there's hope and that things can be redeemed um and i think that's and no one is so low that they're beyond god's love yep absolutely that's really the message that, that no matter what god loves you you know yeah. and that's the most important thing in philippians the world. 4 through 4 13 it can do all things through christ who strengthens me and i do feel like that is highlighted in the show why is it important for the church to be talking about some of these issues that maybe aren't so clean and pretty and talk about how redemption is possible? You know, I, I have always um, had a, pro I, I have a problem with religion. You know, I'm not a fan of it. I believe religion puts people in chains and faith in the living God is what redeems us from the chains and, and following Jesus uh, gives us the roadmap for how to be loving, how to be kind, how to be everything Paul talked about. You know, you know, uh, love is patient, love is kind, that love never wants its own way. You know, I mean, how, how many of us live a life like that? But I think we all basically want to. We want to. So, um, yeah, the church to me has never been a building. The mm -hmm. church to me, actually, the word is ekklesia in, in Greek, and it words really means movement, a movement of God. So, um, and that can happen in a building on a Sunday morning. It can happen in a synagogue on a Saturday morning. It can happen when you're walking in the park. It should happen everywhere. Mm -hmm. Bible says in him, we live and move and have our very being. That's thrilling to me. That's an organic, authentic, um, alive thing. It's not just, um, the Bible's not a dead book. That's it, sure that it, 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 it becomes dusty if it's never picked up and read. But the way I study and I've taught Cass and Ben, um, Cass and Ben's parents actually taught me. Ben is her husband. husband. Yes, he's a cute. <laughs> anyway, I started learning uh, how to study uh, rabbinically, meaning uh, what the Bible actually says, not bad translations of it. That has changed my life. But uh, but I blessed was blessed to grow up in a family like the Baxters in that our faith was real and we were real characters and um, and it was tested all the time. And so, but a lot of people have never grown up in with even two parents in the home. So the challenge for the, the, the Baxters is to make it um, relative and relevant to, um, to people that um, are broken, have never had a family that, that loved them. They, mm -hmm. they don't, it's, it's, you know, they, they, they don't know what that looks mm -hmm. like. And the Baxters can help them see what it actually looks like. And um, I think it's a wonderful show. And it's it's not sappy. It's not any of those things. It's 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 um, uh, it's not cliche ish, but it's it's real. And and the writing is excellent. I mean, the uh, Karen uh, and the, the writer, Karen Kingsbury, who wrote the series that the, the book series that the TV series is based on, knows great writing. She is a great writer. And and. Um, 
and of course Roma. Roma is brilliant, and uh, look at the work, her body of work. So Cass is working with really strong, really powerful women who happen to have hearts of gold mm-hmm. and, and, and a kind spirit. Uh, both of them know the Lord, not just, they know him intimately. And uh, that makes me so happy that she gets to work with people like this. Very grateful. Mm-hmm. And she actually is. She, she is. She's, she's, it hasn't always been the same on every set she's been on. Well, Kesti, you are part of the younger generation on the show, and we're seeing among young people just a rise in mental illness, anxiety, depression, suicide is on the rise. What encouragement do you want to offer to the younger generation who's going to be watching this show and seeing some of these things played out on screen? That there is always hope, even when you feel like you are at the rockest rock bottom. If you know the Lord and you walk with him, um, like my mom said, we all stumble. But if you keep returning there, like your heart will be filled up again. And I think it's just holding on to that. Um, And it's much harder on some days than it is on Mm -hmm. others. But ultimately, at the end of the day, we are seen and we are known and we are loved. And to be able to see yourself through God's eyes, I think Mm -hmm. is something more recently I've been trying to do a little bit more because I'm, I struggle with anxiety, like the next person too, you know, we all do to an extent, but to see that you are whole and God loves you so much and you are made in his image and he just adores you. Like if I saw um, something the other day and it was like, if we just talk to ourselves, like we talk to our best friend, Mm -hmm. uh, how much how much better we would just feel about everything. Cause it's true. When you think about the advice you give your best friend mm-hmm. all the time, it's you're always trying to build them up, but build instead up. with ourselves, we're so preoccupied with just tearing ourselves down. Did I say this wrong? Did I do this? You know? Yeah. We sometimes care too much what other people think and not enough of what God thinks yeah. of us. And what God thinks of us is that he, uh, he sees us wrapped in a robe of righteousness. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he doesn't judge us. He he made us and loves us. And his work, his Holy Spirit work in us is 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 continuing every moment until he takes us home. It's uh that's what I love, that we're always in a state of evolution mm-hmm. as believers, as uh, you know, um, as just human beings. Mm-hmm. And uh if we choose the right road, uh always, and, and that's of course his way, uh it's gonna be it, life will be an adventure. You know, it's not boring to try to live a life following Jesus. Yeah. Ask the disciples and the chosen. Yeah. <laughs> life is never boring. And if, you're, if your life is, is, as a believer, is boring, you're reading the wrong scriptures. You know, mm-hmm. you get yourself the, the original Greek and the original um, um, Hebrew and study that. And you'll see, oh, my gosh, that's an active and alive thing. That's, that's the kind of faith I want. And the, and the, Baxters, have, the Baxters have that kind of faith. Again, they're human and flawed, but it wouldn't be much of a drama, a family drama, if the family was perfect. Mm-hmm. It's all about this, the writing, the story, and then putting uh, fabulous actors and actresses in, in place to, 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 to do what they were born to do. It's, it's when things all come together right on a set, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing to behold because it doesn't always. And you can tell, I think, that there's a... There's a bond with everybody. Totally. Oh yeah. Gosh, and yeah. you guys became real family. Yeah. Making this. We did. Series. Yeah. Mm, I love that. Well, thank you both so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, honey. God bless you.